Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan 111, and welcome back to Void Stranger. There are two mustache statues here, which means I can only use my wand once to open up a hole, and then I'm gonna have to kill all these guys in order to get this. And so I'm thinking if I go left and up and open up a hole here, I think I can eventually get everybody into this hole. So that seems like a good way to start things off. It has been a number of days since I've played this game, for reasons. But there's one bad guy. And so I'm just going to coerce those guys that way. And then let's go ahead and bring this guy over, I suppose. And I guess I might as well get that guy as well. Using the same technique. Oh, there's a thing I have to show off that I did not know. Suppose I were to press left, I'd fall in the hole. Unless, apparently, I press right again immediately. Yeah! You can rescue yourself by pressing the opposite direction. And that's why the animation is so long while you're sweating, falling in the hole. I wish I had known that before. I, I can't say that I discovered that. I started, at much risk, watching uh, some other folks play this game and did end up already with a couple of minor spoilers, I think. Um, but one of the things I discovered that I was happy to have the information about was that mechanic that basically you can rescue yourself from falling out of the hole. Before I forget about it, let's go ahead and grab that thing. And then let's go ahead and get rid of this guy just by punching the wall. There we go. I did it. All right. Let's get out of here. Basement 41, coming up. What do we have on this level? For one, we got a memory shard thingy. So I definitely want to get that. This guy is going to start chasing me. I need to push this guy into a hole before I can use my wand. Which suggests I want to trigger this and have this guy fall in it, probably. Then I could push this thing in the hole. And then I could use my wand as much as I want. And there are bits of glass, and I probably want to use the bits of glass somehow. What am I using the bits of glass for? I could also... Hmm, I would be able to kill this guy if I left this intact. And walked over it, and then he walked over it. So can I kill this guy over here? Yes, or a bunch of other places, because I can use my wand. Yeah, I can... No, there's a mustache guy here. I can't use my wand yet. I have to get rid of this guy first. So why not get rid of this guy over here and then get rid of that guy over there? That seems pretty good to me. And... Yeah, I don't see a reason why I couldn't... Go this guy over here. And then let's just think about where I want to take him next. It seems like I can do this. Get him there, and then I'll be able to drop him in just by doing this. Great. Okay, so he's gone. Now I can push this in the hole, which means now I can use my wand. And that thing I should be able to get just like stepping one step behind me probably somehow. Let's just go ahead and... Uh, Oh, I can't easily put that anywhere else, can I? Alright, change my mind. Let's go ahead and get this guy chasing me. 
He's two steps behind right now. Now he's one step behind. Great. I can step over this, and now he dies there. Great. And now everything is fine. And I can go get my Locust Idol. And I can pick up this thing. And I can be happy about what I've done. Great. Great. Okay. Basement 42. Um, I can use my wand as much as I want, so it seems like I could use my shadow to eventually step on the thingy, so why wouldn't I just want to get rid of the mouth monster? And if I want to get rid of the mouth monster, it feels like I could do this, pick that up, break this intentionally, put this here, connect all these, now I have a bit of connected what do you call? It also enables me to put this away where I can get it later when things will be safer. And I think there's still plenty of space to go ahead and just break these. And then I can go over here and grab these bits. Ooh! Secret! What? I found a secret! There's secrets? If you pick up random tiles, there might be secrets? I'm gonna have to play the video back. Was there anything that hinted there was something there? And does the secrets, um... Show up anywhere? Ah, oh, darn it. It doesn't show up as like a uh, memory shard thingy. I'm not sure that the secret shows up anywhere. Okay. Well, I found a secret, apparently. Which <laughs> worries me. Uh, as it should. Um, let's do this. And then... Let's think about this for a moment. I think what I actually want to do is this, so that I can just uh, have these all together and then figure out exactly what I'm doing with them. So you come down here, and you come down here, and that's almost sufficient. Yeah, because then I can have a shadow go and follow me. There we go. Alright, so I escaped with a secret, just in case the secret also required um, clearing the level before it would like show up. So memories, I'm up to eight. And I could unlock another memory. Hmm, do I want to unlock another memory? Sure, let's do it. Alright, it's just another picture. Sure, great. And it's going to cost 12 and then 16 more for the rest. All right. Okay, there was a secret. I really want to watch that video back, so I'm going to go do that right now. After watching it back, I don't think there was any visual indication prior to picking up the tile that there was a secret there. I think it was basically like an invisible memory shard and behaved kind of like that and shows secret to let you know that you're picking it up. And unfortunately, I think that means the game has just incentivized me to try to pick up every tile <laughs> um, on every screen, which I kind of fear I'm going to do now. I'm not sure how I feel about that. All right. In any case, Basement 43. I see a mustache statue over here, which means I can't use my wand. So let me tie my left hand behind my back. So I don't try to press the button. Uh, if I can't... Hmm. I have to push this guy into the void so I can start using my wand. So... If I go right, this guy will follow me right, and then I'm trapped. So I'm definitely starting down, down. This guy's going to be up, up. So he's going to be right behind me. 
I'm gonna have to walk over here, and I'm gonna have to push this in the void, it seems like. Then... After having done that... I can go ahead and open up the chest. I will have to pick up the piece of floor that this guy is sitting on. Then can open up the chest and then start building my way down. In the process of doing so, this guy will have fallen in a hole. I'll then be able to build horizontally. Yeah. And this guy will still be here until I step on to here at some point, at which point he'll fall in a hole. And then I can walk back here and push this up and go there. Yeah. So I don't think there's anything too spooky about this one. Okay. But left hand still tied behind my back until I get to pushing this guy off. Okay. Now I can use my magic wand, so get the left hand back out. And definitely want to pick this up. And then I'm pretty sure... Uh, right, that's... Oh, I have to keep this guy alive! I did not foresee that. Uh, that's almost impossible. I think I might see a way... Okay, so the way I'm envisioning is, if I go up here, he'll be next to me, which means I can't push this to the right. Mm -hmm. Could I build up to here? Or over here? Hmm. If this guy dies, we're out of luck. And he is going to... I only have to step here once. So if he had one piece of flooring to his south, and one piece here, like if these two were filled, then I could step here, he'd step down, while I pick up this. No, while I pick up this, he's going to take another move. So that also would not work. He would need... Oh, gosh. Okay, maybe see a way... Let's try it out. Here's my idea. Build over here so I can grab this, because I need an extra piece of flooring. And I guess it doesn't matter exactly where. I don't think it matters exactly where. So if I do this, pick this up and then start building this way. Okay, I'm over here. Now, do I have enough to do what I want to do? Maybe. Let's imagine that I do. Uh, I'm gonna need that, though. Let's take this one for the moment. And do that. Okay, and now I've got a very strong position where I have a bunch of tiles. So I can now build out to the place that I know I need to build out, but then I also... Mm, I'm not going to need that one for a while, so let's take it. Alright, so there's the first one that's going to save you. And there's the second one that's going to save you. And I still can grab this. Oh, I didn't... Hmm. I needed to pick up a thing down there that I didn't do yet. Uh, I think I need to put some of this back in order to do what I'm trying to do. <laughs> oh, what a mess. I'm not sure that I'm ever going to need that one, so let's grab it. And I think I basically need another 
piece of solid flooring. So I'm gonna grab this one, because I feel like I need more. And then I need to build down here for reasons. So you need to be replaced with better flooring. Okay, so now I would be able to go grab the exit. And he would move down too, and that would be okay. So now... If I... Uh, oh, I'm so close. Can I pick up any more bits of this? Probably. Suppose... Very carefully, I picked up this one. Okay, that's the one I wanted to get. And I could pick up this one. Is that enough? I think that's enough for what I want to do. So now if I were to step left, pick up the exit, he'd go to the south. Then I could go walk back up, I could walk past him, he'd move one to the right, and then I could push the statue and everything's gonna be okay. Yeah, I think so. So, step down, pick up, walk over, walk over, walk over, walk over here, push this onto the thing, and I made it. Okay, I did it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my gracious. These puzzles are hard. Uh, I cannot use my my wand, so tie up my left hand. This is sitting on glass. This guy is a threat. I need to get to the exit. I could... If I could use my wand, I could just walk over, right. But I can't use my wand. I can't use my wand until such time as this guy ends up in a pit. Which I could do if I walk over here and push him to the right, and then push him north. He would fall in the pit, and incidentally that would be the first time this guy would have line of sight to see me, and so he'd start coming toward me. And so then the problem is I have access to use my wand, But he's going to be breaking all the floor as he comes towards me. And so... I could use my wand to like pick up and put down and pick up and put down and eventually he'd fall in a hole. And then I'd be able to... I guess at that point I'd be able to walk south on the glass down to here and then use this bit to get over there and then everything would be okay. So I think that is the plan. Do I think I know everything? I think I know everything. So, this guy is gonna fall in a hole. Uh, then I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna pick up, put down, pick up, he's dead. I'm gonna use... actually, I could... I don't have to use my put down on the south. However, now I wonder about secrets. So I could just get to the exit. I can do both. I'm not going to check for every secret, but I can check for a lot of them. Because I can do this. And I just want to break that glass in case it had a secret underneath it. It apparently doesn't. And then we're just trying, kind of picking up all these tiles. In case any of them reveal a secret, doesn't seem like any of those guys do. And uh, I guess I can't easily pick that one up. Uh, you know what? I could. I could do this. Okay, there's no secret there either. Uh, there's a couple tiles over near the beginning I didn't pick up, but 
I don't feel like going after every single tile. I'm just going to go after most of them when it's convenient, I think. Okay. The exit is underneath that thing. Which means this guy needs to die so that I can get to the exit. In order to make this guy die, I could go left, left, down. This guy would see me twice and fall in the hole. And then, if there were four intact, I could walk to the exit. The problem is there's not four intact. Can I pick up? Yeah, what if I were to go here, here, pick up this tile, then walk around to the south, he's dead. Then walk around here and place this down, and then I would get to the exit, and that would be fine. In the process of doing that, I would not have ever broken these bits of glass, and so I wonder if I can break them in case there's a secret. <laughs> uh, but in any case, I think I have a viable plan. So it goes like this. This, he's dead. And now I'm going to take the long route, just in case there's a secret. Okay, there wasn't a secret on those particular tiles. And I might as well pick this up in case there's a secret. Apparently there's not. <laughs> okay. Alright. Now... I have to kill both of these dudes. Struggling to find a path here. Suppose I go down, down. This guy will come next to me. I can go left. He'll kill himself. So now I'm standing here. I need to kill this guy. And eventually have a path back. So far I've broken these two. Which means I would be able to walk back around this way. But this guy needs to die. So maybe I pick up this hole. This almost works. Then I could go to mount over here. Um, but the problem is I just stepped off this piece of glass and now I don't have a way to get it back. So he'd fall in the hole while I'm bouncing against the wall, but then I have nowhere to step off. Here's another alternative. I step down here, step over here, this guy's dead. Uh, no, hold on. I step over here, step down here, onto this. Step left, pick this up. Now I step north, this guy falls in the hole I left behind here. I can step over here, this guy falls in this hole, so now they're both gone. And so far I've walked over this. So these tiles have all disappeared or triggered. And both these guys are dead. And now the problem is there's a hole here that this guy left, otherwise I would just be able to walk to the exit. So I'm currently here, and I need to get to the exit, and I'm holding a piece of glass. And I could put it down here. And then pick this up. And then I'm still out of luck because I still can't do things. No, wait, I think that works. So I go down here, pick this up, walk over here. They're both dead. I'm still holding some glass. Walk back over here. Put the glass to the south. Step on it and pick this up. I could step over here and drop that. Oh, but I'm still... I'm, I need another piece of floor. I need to... Can I pick up this floor along the way? Mm. No, I need to step on that floor. Mm. 
Okay, new idea. I walk down here, I pick up this piece of floor, I walk up here, I walk up here. This guy's gone here, this guy's gone into the hole I created. They're both dead. Now, I step over here, I step back to the right, and I replace this bit of glass. This one is still missing, but now I could walk up here, over here, grab it, step on this one, replace this one, and then step, step, step to the exit. I think that works. So let's try it. So this, pick this up, walk over here. Yeah, I think this works. Put this down here, pick this up, put it down here, and go like that. Oh yeah, baby. Okay, I did it. Can we get another one done? Basement 47. And that is a... If everybody dies... Oh my goodness. If everybody dies, you go away. You look like you're sitting on something. You're sitting on a piece of glass? And... I have to get two of these things held down? One by a monster and one by- how is- this is not possible. Like, just clearly not possible, right? Like, on a scale from one to possible, this is not possible. Okay, well if it were possible, imagine I'm trying to get this guy over here. So I can go boop, boop, boop. He'll have moved down too. Great. I can go boop boop. He'll be on the pressure plate. Great. I can step on this pressure plate. The exit is open for a moment. Great. <laughs> uh, boop boop. Oh, this is almost working. Uh, he's evacuated some tiles here or whatever, so I can't walk here, but imagine that I could. He doesn't see me as I go to the north, because the statue's blocking his line of sight. I push the statue onto the pressure plate and then go to the exit. So that almost works. Amazingly enough. Uh, there are some problems. So, I go over here. He's right next to me. I go over here. He's right next to me. I think I do want this pressure plate here, and I have to immediately move out of the way, so I'm here. How am I going to pick up a piece of glass? And there aren't any pieces of glass I can pick up at this point. Could I have picked up a piece of glass earlier that I didn't need to actually step on? Not that I can see. So maybe that's the wrong idea? Is there any chance I'm getting him this way? There's no way I can pull him all the way over here, because I'd have to be standing here and he would just get me. So that doesn't seem right. So it does feel like he's going this way. And there's just no possibilities left. And I haven't come up with any way to use this or this. Wait, he's not standing on glass. He's standing on actual flooring here. So once again, if I do this, I'll get to here. And I'm not currently holding a piece of glass. Which is too bad, because if I were, I could put it down here, stand on it, and push this. Without that, I can push this. But then I can't get to the exit. Is there a way that I can get to the exit? Okay, so... I do this... He broke this bit of glass already. I could walk down here and pick up this piece of solid flooring. But I'm already kind of trapped myself. Okay, what if when I come over here... I step here, I pick up this piece of glass, then I step up here and then put it down, and then push that over and do that? Yeah, I think that works, actually. Okay. So. 
We're doing this. We're doing that. Then... I am picking this up. Putting it down here. Pushing the statue over. Hey, hey! And getting to the exit. How do you like that? Oh my gosh. These puzzles are so hard. <gasps> um... Oh man. I, so this is once again a case of I hadn't played this game in like a week just due to my own schedule in real life. And so I was reviewing just kind of like big picture stuff before I sat down to play. And I still, there was back on basement like 193 or 197 or whatever it was where I managed to just like step through some rocks and annihilate them. I really want to investigate that mechanic. <laughs> there are some rocks on this floor. Um, but I, I don't know where to begin, and like I'm not in a good experimenting phase. I almost wish I'd just like start up an alternate game and like do an alternate uh, playthrough. I mean, which I guess I could if I was like manipulating my save files on disk or something, and like saving a backup or whatever, and like starting a new game or something. Um, but I feel like there's all these mechanics I still need to investigate that I haven't had a chance, and now we just discovered secrets. I don't know. In any case, it's hard to see exactly where this is going, but this game continues to have even more depth than I was expecting, so I'm just going to say for now that I hope as always that you all are having a great day, and I will see you again soon with more Void Stranger, where I'll figure something out. For now, bye bye.